initially here, it was marshy area. That when Marie de Medicis, mother of the young king Louis XIII, decided to put here a three-line promenade close to her palace in Les Tuileries, this place became later one of the most famous of Paris, Les Champs Élysées, that some people call the most beautiful avenue in the world. Later, the real avenue was built for Louis XIV to go to the castles of Saint-Germain-en-Laye and Versailles at the west. Later, on the Tuileries side, the city of Paris built the square Louis XV with a statue of him, and it's the largest square of Paris with the abolition of the monarchy. It becomes the square of the revolution and hosts the guillotine. After the terror, it was named Square de la Concorde and received in 1836 the obelisk offered by Egypt to France. On the other side of the avenue, an Arc of Triomphe is built on the glory of Napoleon's army. But as he was exiled later, he never saw it completed. Now, every day at 6.30 p.m., a ceremony revives the flame of the unknown soldier of World War I. The avenue changed during the 19th century with, in the lower part, gardens, theatres, the Petit Palais and Grand Palais built for the Universal Exhibition in 1900 and, in the upper part, cafes, mansions and later luxury shops. Now, the Parisians gather here for all the big occasions like the liberation of Paris or the arrival of Tour de France, the Bastille des Parades, the Christmas lightings or the Football World Cup parties. In the 80s, the TV musical show Champs Elysees was shot in the Espace Cardin and the Studio Gabriel, located in front of l'Elysée, the house of the French president, initially a private mansion that hosted the emperors Napoleon I and Napoleon III. If you want to know more about Paris and its history, try the surprising playful visit on one dayinparis.fr.